Hello everyone. How are you doing today? This is an important class today. I wouldn't call it my last scratch class as scratch is so much fun that I don't want to really wrap it up. So no worries. I will be doing scratch side by side with another thing that I had promised to teach you and that is mobile app development. But before I start mobile app development, I really need to tell you about my blocks, a feature in Scratch. My block as the name suggests are your own blocks. Each block that is your own block will contain some blocks that together perform a certain task. This is a programming concept called a procedure or a function. If you learn about programming languages like Java, C++, they have procedures or functions in which a certain task is being performed. And this is what my blocks represent in Scratch. This will make more sense when I will show you it practically happening. So I made this small project. It is not complete. It is to show you the example of my block. So let me show you what is happening in this project. It's a short story of two characters. Let's have a look at the story, the incomplete story at the moment. So as you can see that this visit has this habit of coming and going. I mean, he disappears and then he appears whenever he wants. So let's look at the code. And I'm just going to focus on the visit code at the moment. So as you can see that this is the visit code. This sets the ghost effect to 100. That means that he's invisible. When the ghost effect is 100, it means the sprite is invisible. And then this is the time, wait 4 seconds, when the elf is speaking something and then he appears. So this is the appear code that repeat 10 times, change ghost effect by minus 10. So he slowly becomes visible. And then he says something and then that magic spell sound comes and then he disappears again. So you can see how long this code is and he has done this appearance and disappearance two times in this code. Again, remember that this is an incomplete project. So the wizard will be making an appearance numerous times inside the entire story. And every time you will have to do this repeat 10 times, change ghost effect by minus 10 to make it appear and then say something. And then every time the wizard vanishes, you will have to write down this code. This will end up in a very long code. If there are too many lines of code, it means that the file size will be bigger and it will take that much space on your device or laptop or computer. So these things have to be considered and you have to make your code as efficient as possible by reducing its size. So that is where my blocks will come along. Okay, so I can put the disappearing or the appearing code inside my blocks. So that will reduce these blocks and there will be other advantages that I will show you later. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I will go to my blocks and make a block and call it something like vanish. As you can see, define vanish. Okay, and what will we put inside vanish? We just need to drag this vanishing code. This is the vanishing code that it makes a sound and then repeat 10 times and change the ghost effect by 10 that it slowly disappears. So just drag this and put it under define vanish. So your block has been defined and as you can see it is coming here and what you need to do is that you just need to put the vanish the red block here. So this will take care of the vanishing part. You have already defined it here and wherever you want the vanish code to happen and you want the visit to vanish, you just need to drag that block and put it there. So where else we wanted the vanish part? Here is again the vanish part. So just get rid of it and put vanish here. And we can do the same thing with the appearance code where the visit appears okay remember he also says something whenever he appears so this is a new thing which we will do that 
we will go to make a block we will name it a pair and speak okay and we want it to get an input it could be a number or text so we're just going to call it sentence okay so it says a pair and speak and then we have to give it a sentence okay so this is the part where he's appearing and speaking something so this is the code for that so just put it there and you have to go to the dark cave and wait for me there so just copy it and instead of that just drag this sentence and put it there okay and the speak and appear will come in its place and here we can write down what he had to say again we have this appearance and speaking code here so just remove this drag speak and a pair here and get this go inside the cave just copy it paste it inside a pair and speak and we can get rid of this part so now look at our code it is so much simpler now because we have reduced the complexity by making our own blocks and you can see that here by even reading name them appropriately give them some names logical names that make sense so you can look here that he is appearing and speaking something and what he is speaking you have already provided here that you have to go to the dark cave and wait for me there and when it will reach this part it will come here and perform everything inside it and then it will come to the next line the next block is vanish so it will do the vanish part and then wait 10 seconds and then it will appear again because it will follow this block another important thing is that if we had followed our old approach and written the vanishing and the appearance code again and again so what if we needed to change the music for example it is start sound magic spell here whenever it vanishes if i had used the old way of writing down the code again and again i would have had to change the music every time this code came but now i just need to change it here i can go to sounds go here and choose another sound come back to code and change it to ripples and now the whole thing will change without compromising the correctness of the project okay so code change has become easier too we have learned these three advantages of using blocks first of all we avoid complexity we reduce the project size and third code change has become easier and now i will show you another advantage of my blocks let me open another project remember we learned about the pen tool in my last class in which i taught you how to make your own paint program using the pen tool you can even draw your own custom shapes okay so i wrote down this code what happens is that when flag is clicked whatever is on the screen is erased this is a pen block and inside the forever loop we have this code it will check if the mouse is down that is we are clicking on the screen and if you're clicking on the screen it will go to the mouse pointer and it will start drawing something okay first it will set the pen size to 5 to make it a little thicker and then it will set the pen color to blue and then pen down this is the part where it says that start drawing and then it will repeat four times this code it will move 100 steps and when it will be moving 100 steps because the pen is down it will be actually drawing for those 100 steps and then it will turn 90 degrees i think you may have understood what i'm trying to accomplish here that i am drawing a square here because i'm doing it four times and then i am making it turn 90 degrees so i will end up with a square at the end of drawing the square the pen is up and it will keep on doing wherever i put down the mouse so let's run this code you can see it's drawing a square wherever i click the mouse i can put this entire code again hiding the complexity by removing this code of drawing the square so this is the code where it draws the square so i can make a block draw square and just put the square drawing code inside this and as you can see that i have hidden the complexity so forever it will keep on checking that if the mouse is down draw a square and the square drawing code is inside here let's try this code works perfectly but you can see 
the square drawing right in front of your eyes. So what you can do is you can make it faster by removing screen refresh. Why do we even need that? We might need it in platformer games where we want the sprite to jump so fast that we really don't want to see him going slowly up, up and up, okay? So how to get rid of screen refresh? So I will just go to draw square here, the define and click on edit. And then I will check this checkbox, run without screen refresh. And I want to show you the difference it will make. See, the screen is not refreshing. The square is just appearing in front of me without my being aware of the steps it is taking to be drawn. Okay, so it has become faster now. And this is required particularly in games. Okay. By the way, there is another way of turning off screen refresh, but that way is for the entire project. Using my blocks, you have this advantage that you can focus on one part of your code and make only that part of code faster. So the way to make the entire project run faster without screen refresh is by going to edit and turning on turbo mode. And as you can see, there's a lightning symbol here, which means that the turbo mode is on. And now all the blocks in the code will run faster without screen refresh. So I thought that I should also tell you about this way. But again, the disadvantage is that it is then turned on for the entire project and you might not want the whole project to be so fast. Okay, so you might want to see animation happening in front of your eyes very clearly in some parts of your code. So I hope that you have learned the purpose of my blocks or we can call them procedures as that is a proper programming term for them. First, code complexity is removed, code size becomes smaller, repetition of code is avoided, code can be changed easily and we can stop the screen from being refreshed. So I hope you like this class. This is in no way my last class on Scratch. I will be doing some more fun projects on Scratch, but I really wanted to start something which I had promised you earlier, that is mobile app development. So we will be going on to that too, okay? So do share my videos with your friends and family and do tell them about my channel because my coding and mental math classes are 100% free. And remember to subscribe if you haven't done so. Thank you for watching and have a good day.